all right guys so this is the gif that i am going to be using i'm just gonna give you guys the link to this gif and also the name of the artist so what you have to do is you have to download the gif that you want to kind of copy and then you have to go ahead and uh, google gif to mp4 and i just open up this website that i'm opening right here i will give a link down in the description so that you guys can directly go to this website and what you have to do is basically you have to change gif to a mp4 file now the reason why we are doing this is because i will tell you why just in a minute so just convert it and download it in your ipad by the way a little introduction that i forgot to give you in the beginning of this video i am making this tutorial only for beginners so if you're a beginner and you want to learn animation you can actually use this trick to kind of know what actually goes on in creating a animated gif or any sort of animation so this is not cheat every time you create something this cheat is to learn is to actually learn how animation works and basically breaking it down in steps to understand it better that's why we are cheating here all right so that we are clear okay so once you have downloaded the mp4 file on your ipad when you download some video and you just pause it and you slide it through like i am doing right here you can actually see different frames that actually helped in creating this animated gif i hope this is making sense so that's what we are doing here you can take screenshots of different frames that you are seeing on this video by just sliding through this mp4 file like i'm doing right at the bottom you can take screenshot of those and use those as reference while you are creating this gif on procreate that is the reason why we converted the gif into mp4 file so that we can actually slide through the whole mp4 file and see what all are the different frames that actually helped in creating this animated gif i hope this made sense so just go ahead and start taking screenshots of these little frames and then let's just jump right on to the procreate app now once you are on the procreate app you can import all of your screenshots so from here you can either just go ahead and completely just trace over the artwork which is completely fine if you're a beginner you, this is completely fine just go over trace over the cloud or just make it your own way something like that i have a tutorial on how to trace like a pro you might want to check that out as well so yeah or what you can do is you can just one by one pick those artworks up and use it on their this reference panel that procreate has and you can just you know use these screenshots as reference to create different frames on this procreate app i hope this is making sense but that's what i'm doing here i'm not gonna exactly copy the whole thing i'm just gonna uh use this as reference and just gonna draw the cloud all right so that's what we are doing here also i didn't take screenshots of each and every frame that that mp4 file has but you can take as many screenshots as you want i just wanted to show you guys how to actually do this and uh yeah i mean that's i just didn't take screenshots of every frame that that video had so uh yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and draw the cloud and i am drawing it in my own way i'm not really uh, completely copying the cloud that i'm seeing right here now what this trick or what we are doing here will do is it will help you understand the steps that goes into creating a animated gif so after once you do this like if you're a beginner like a complete beginner and you want to learn animation once you do this you will realize like the whole you will actually understand the whole animation process so after this whatever you will create you will b understand animation better and you can actually go ahead and create your own little frame maybe first on a rough paper then you can maybe go ahead and you know directly trace on procreate from those rough sketches if this if this is making any sense so this the whole purpose of this video is to actually you know make you understand or you know teach you guys like there are some cheat techniques you can use to learn different things so cheating is not bad as long as you are learning from it 
all right i also have a video on how to trace like a pro that i would highly recommend you guys watching that is that is also a cheating technique but to learn so here also we are learning about animation if you're a complete beginner i actually made a similar kind of video with a similar kind of gif for sketchbook sketchbook for ipad so if you are somebody who uses sketchbook because sketchbook on ipad doesn't have any um animation create creating tool so i actually you know used a different kind of technique to create gif with sketchbook with autodesk sketchbook so if you are somebody who uses that uh, definitely go ahead and watch that video i will link that down in the description i just cannot speak to them just i had sore throat so i'm really sorry about that but yeah as you guys can see i kept on importing those screenshot on the reference panel and i kept on creating that cloud one more thing when you are actually creating um frames as you guys can see i actually made different groups so that i can change the expression i can change everything so it'll be beneficial if you create each and every part of that element or of that cloud in different layer and then just group all of those layer in one group and then just duplicate it and just make the changes wherever you want to make the changes i hope that made sense so in procreate each layer is equal to each frame but you but if you group those layers those groups are also equal to individual separate frame so here procreate will count each separate group as one frame so that's how it works i hope this is making sense you guys at this point there is no nothing much to explain i am just using the screenshots as reference and i'm creating those eyes and mouth in separate layer and then cloud in another layer and then that little thunderstorm thingy on a different layer and i actually grouped all of those layers and i kept on duplicating those and making changing making changes in those groups but feel free to completely trace the whole thing if you want to it's completely fine so that's what we are doing here and i'm just gonna fast forward this little process and just gonna jump right onto the animation thing Once you're done creating all of those little clouds, go ahead and enable animation assist. And from here, you can adjust the frame rate depending on how fast or slow you want the GIF to be. So the GIF was really, really fast for me. So I decreased the frame per second. And yeah, it did make a little bit of changes. Um, did duplicate some of the groups because I actually skipped a lot of frame while taking screenshots so you might want to take as many screenshots as possible it will just make your whole gif look more effortless and it will also teach you how to create a effortless looking smooth looking animated gif so go ahead and try this trick out you guys especially if you're a beginner go ahead and try this out if you are somebody who want to learn animation just definitely try this out the more frames you add, the more effortless and smooth the animation is going to be. So yeah, that is it. And then you just can just go ahead and export your GIF as animated GIF or animated MP4. It's totally up to you. But yeah, that is it. That is how you kind of cheat to learn animation. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, found this helpful. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. I will also link the name of the uh, artist of the name of the artist of this gif i don't know what i'm saying but down in the description do check that out if you want to know who that is if you do create something out of tutorials tag me on instagram i would love to see and if you do create this little cute animated gif do let me know do tag me on instagram i would love to see that as well other than that i will see you guys in the next video